Well, if like old mate, you have a Intel based computer and your graphics card is so outdated now that it's absolutely useless to you, you're obviously relying on your Intel HD graphics subsystem. Well, here's a bit of good news for you. It's news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, Intel has released its first universal Windows driver for its graphics subsystem. This is Backyard Tech News. G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It is news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Friday morning and I'm just going through all my emails that I got yesterday and this one popped up in my tech news feed for some of the stuff that I subscribe to. This is from Tom's Hardware and uh, as you can see there Intel introduces first universal Windows driver for graphics. Intel's introduced today its universal Windows driver for operating systems that are on Microsoft's universal Windows platform, UWP, such as Windows 10 and Windows Server 2019, or later. Uh, distribution of the universal Windows driver, also known as Windows Modern Driver, is already underway. UWD is designed to replace Intel's previous graphics driver, which are now legacy status. However, special care is required to ensure a proper installation. Intel warns users not to use the INF or hard disk method with the UWD because it bypasses the, the specially designed installer, which could lead to a minor, which could lead, I'm sorry, to minor to major system instability. For now, Intel won't be providing a zip file for the UWD while users are transitioning from uh, to the new driver. Users who aren't fond of the UWD can revert back to a legacy driver anytime. However, Intel doesn't recommend doing this since the procedure involves a complex process that may negatively impact the system's stability. I just want to stop there for a moment. I follow hardware, okay, more so than anything else. And as much as I'm an Intel man, I have to admit that uh, AMD's embedded system for graphics, now whether you're talking about an AMD CPU for an AMD motherboard, which has got an onboard dedicated GPU, uh, case in point would be a laptop of some description, or in other cases, a motherboard, AMD's graphics are even I have to admit this, better. But Intel is lagging. Um, even with, you know, getting, um, I think it's there's a motherboard out there that's got an Intel, it's an Intel uh, motherboard, but it's got an onboard AMD graphics chip or something. Even I admit AMD is better. And you can already see it from the article that Intel's not overly confident on UWD. The Intel Graphics Driver 2520 is the first driver to come in uh, UWD format and brings several improvements to the table. The driver is only compatible with 64-bit versions of Windows 10 with the Fall Creators update or newer and Intel's sixth generation Skylake or newer processors. Which is great for me because I'm on Ivy Bridge, so it's not going to bother me here. But for anyone else running around on Skylake, KB Lake, Coffee Lake type uh, CPUs, this is something that you may have to um, check out for yourselves. I can't. The latest UWD driver comes with the launch uh, launch support of Artifact and Framing Simula Farming Simulator 2019. Intel has also updated the auto game tuning feature to support 12 new titles, Fallout 4, Far Cry 5, FIFA 18, Paladins, Path of Exile, Sims 4, uh, Smite, Borderlands 2, Euro Truck Simulator 2, so my viewers and subscribers who play Euro Truck 2, this is something you're probably going to want to look at as well. Uh, Player Unknowns, Battlegrounds, uh, Rocket League, and The Witcher 3. 
The 2520 driver helps reduce memory consumption when using the Open GP, OpenGL graphics API, improved battery life when using display refresh rate switching, so that's obviously good at a, at, at a laptop subsystem primarily, on supported monitors and improved stability for the Vulcan driver. Now, none of that affects me directly because we all know I'm running around with a fairly old uh, Core i7 system, okay? Which is obviously true as all get out. Lastly, the Intel graphics compiler has switched from the SPIR intermediate language over to the latest SPI dash V version that was introduced in March 2015. Now, I've got to be honest with you, the Spur language is not something old mates familiar with. Now, I know you're all going to scream your blue murder at me. How can I not know about Spur V5 or Spur 5? I'm not into software, so I don't know anything about it. Now, I know there's going to be people out there yelling and screaming at me that, how can I call myself a computer person when I've never heard of Spur V? I haven't. The first time I saw something like this was earlier this year. So I wasn't aware of it. The following issues have been fixed with the Intel graphics driver 2525100644. Minor graphics anomalies observed in NBA 2K19, FIFA 19, DX12, obviously DirectX 12, and Assassin's Creed. Actually, you guys can go through all those. Uh, Windows advanced display settings showing incorrect bit depth on some primary monitors, which leads to inaccurate colors. Now, that is probably paramount, not just in the gaming realm, but in the graphics design uh, realm and video editing realm too, because the last thing you want, and I mean, remember, I'm partially colorblind, so it wouldn't affect me from that point of view. But if you're a, a graphics designer or a video editor, of which some of my viewers and subs are, um, that is probably something that uh, you're going to want to look into for yourself. A custom resolution of 980 by 588 at 60 hertz not getting added to the capable resolutions. Three or more virtual displays not being supported in extended configuration mode. As I said, these are some of the known fixes. Intermediate crashes or hangs occurring when using Miracast in extended mode on Intel, Pentium, Silver, and Celeron processors. Uh, minor performance regression observed in 100.6370 film Battle, Battlefield 5 and Dragon Age Inquisition. Now, my gaming people out there you can explain that to me because i've got no idea what all that means the following issues are known to exist with the intel graphics driver 2520 now if you're a gamer this is something you're going to have to look into intermediate crashes or hangs may occur in assassin's creed odyssey battlefield 5 call of duty black ops 4 and other games all right Minor graphics anomalies may, may be observed in Project Cars 2 with anti-aliasing enabled and other games. The optimization checkbox for game tuning in graphics control panel does not refresh after restore settings in some systems. Okay. So we've got Intel's first UWD system. Um, there's been a lot of talk about when it was going to come out. Um, I thought it would be out a little bit earlier. Obviously, it wasn't. Um, and that's just me misreading it, although I know I tend to misread everything. We all know that. Um, but to be honest, look, if you, like old mate, well, probably not like old mate because I, I don't have the ability, but if I had a newer motherboard on Skylake, KB Lake, or even Coffee Lake for that matter, and I don't have a graphics card, this would probably be good. But I'm running around with Ivy Bridge at 3.4 gigs, so it does not directly affect me because of the age of my motherboard and the age of my Core i7 being only a 3770. So it's not a 3770K, 
It's just a 3770. So there we are. Intel introduces first universal Windows graphic Windows driver for graphics. Stick around. We'll see what else crops up throughout the day. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.